Okay. I'll show you in a minute. Yeah. Here, stand on your mat. Stand on your mat. What's that? Stand on your mat. Stand on your mat. There we go. We're both in the shot. Shoot, shoot. Ta-da. Go, 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 our friend, our friend. Rachel, look at you. There we go. You can't really, you won't be able to see yourself. But, uh, yeah, we'll be in the shot. Hi friends, we're back in Bali. I'm super excited to film more classes here on this beautiful island. This is another 30 minute vinyasa yoga practice and all you need is your yoga mat since I also didn't bring any blocks or any other props with me. Today we will work on twists. Let's begin. <laughs> into a seated position. Maybe hero's pose, cross-legged, whatever works for you today. Sit nice and tall, close down your eyes. Relax your shoulders down away from the ears. And just take a moment to center yourself. Arrive on your mat. Take a few deep breaths. Start to check in with your body, how are you feeling today? Notice the patterns in your breath without changing anything, just notice the inhale. What is your speaker called? I'm super excited to film more classes here on this beautiful island. This is another 30 minutes in our career practice, and all you need is to wear the mask since you're also thinking any blocks or any other props with me. Wait, I'm going to put his video on for me. Too. Let's begin. <laughs> Take a moment to center yourself, arrive on your mat, take a few deep breaths. Start to check in with your body, how are you feeling today? Notice the pattern in the breath without changing anything. Just notice the inhale and the exhale. And slowly start to manipulate your breath. Take a longer, deeper inhale. Maybe add a pause at the top of your inhale. And a nice 
forward as far as you can so that you feel your wrist. Move the hips back to the heels. Stretch out the feet. Move forward. Stretch out the wrist. And back. A couple more times. Forward and back. As always, you know, pass the feet out of the wrist. Warm up. You will not be in our hands too much today. But maybe you do this class in the evening. Or in the morning. Maybe you have an office job. It's important to take care of the wrist, especially in the R on our keyboard. You can see it a lot more social. Switch direction. Okay, so you too. The fingertips are now pointing towards the knees. Keep the arms straight, stay in the face. And send the hips back. Let the palms lift up. See if you feel sensation in your forearm. You might also feel it in the fingers and the palms. If you want more, bend one arm and then the other, or both at the same time. Try to move around a little bit more. Move in a way that feels good for you. Back to this table tabletop. This time, untap your toes. The shoulders are over the wrist. The hips above the knee. And you inhale, arch your back and forward. The palm coming. Exhale, round your back. Press into your palm. And lift your knees up. Stay on the top of your feet. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, all the way out. And the bottom of your exhale, press your knees down. And then inhale, arch your back and forward. As her long as that, she has toes lifting the head, so that you can go in, so that you can call those cobra tasks, as her all the way up, put the knees down, and her arms are down. One more. your palms as much as you can and feel that space between the shoulder blades. That space wants to reach up towards the seat. Just push as much as you can, touch the tailbone, core is kind of engaged, engage your knees as well. And find the breath here, soft, the breath down a little more. Behind your toes, bend your arms for Chaturanga. The elbows are over the <laughs> wrist. Press back up on the toes. Shift forward Chaturanga. Up to clench. Forward Chaturanga. Up to clench. Downward facing dog. Move the hips up and back. Keep your knees bent for now. Move the chest towards the side. Keep the arms straight. Yeah, that's the guys. I can only rotate the arms and keep tapping into the palms. What we're looking for is that openness in the shoulders and in the back. And if you want more, or you want to slightly straighten the legs, 
Go ahead and do so, but try to keep that length in your back. Hide your heels behind the ankles. <laughs> yeah, just to make sure you're not twisted out. Yeah, you can Because it's about opening up your shoulders. You can inhale if you rise right up and back. You have a chest. Keep moving your chest towards the left side. Come high into the left toes. Bend your right knee, open back your hip. Keep the right shoulder on the same height as the left. And point the right foot as you're reaching with the right foot down towards the ground. And your inhale can even higher on the left foot. Exhale, right knee to the left side. Down the back. Lift your right knee up even higher towards the left shoulder. Then you reach up and back to the left side. Open back. Exhale, right knee to the left side. Then you reach up and back. Exhale, right knee to the nose. Hold it there. Exhale, right foot between the hands. Straighten both legs for pyramid pose. Both legs on the ground if that's not possible, just step the left foot forward. Inhale and snow to the front. Exhale forward forward and down. This is nice, you can walk a little bit. You can walk your hands to the right. Walk a little to the left since you're more flexible. Or maybe to the left. But you just put your hands over to the right. Back side of the leg, the right hand. Pull it over to the. And take your left fingertip on the ground inside the right foot for revolve triangle. Reach your right arm up towards the sky. Reach your right arm up towards the sky. Pull the right hip back a little bit more. Reach your right arm up towards the sky. 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 Back. Keep your right arm forward. And if you want to reach forward for something, and then re bend the right knee, place your right hand inside the right foot. Reach your left arm up towards the sky. The ball front. No, the ball front. Yeah, some of these I like because I could actually do like this one. Reach your left arm forward. Keep your left arm straight, but then plug your left arm into the shoulder pocket. Pull the lower belly in. On your exhale, slide the lunge to your left. Bend the left knee straight in the right. Try to find the low variation of a slide lunge. Make the left heel down. If that's not possible, just keep right. your hips higher, but still keep the left heel on the ground. Then place the left hand on the ground, left arm inside the left leg. Lift the left heel up, reach your right arm up and over your head. Slowly release, move forward to the front of the mat for half uh, for half moon. Left leg floats up. Fingertips are on the ground or it's on the block. Lower the left foot down. Keep both legs straight. There's so many little and ways you can work on this pose. Like straighten the leg to lower the hip down, straighten the head out. That's a great entry for handstand if you want to go upside down. I usually try. Even the right knee, step the left foot back, or press and run. Reach both arms up, and be wide in the stand. Make sure you can see the right big toe inside the right knee. And then tuck the tailbone, pull the lower belly in, kind of put the chest in too, and reach your arms up and back even higher. Maybe lower the hips down even more, bend the right knee more, or widen your stance. Keep the left arm forward, the right arm behind you for open twist. Try to find that rotation more from the core by using your strength. Pull the right shoulder back towards the um, oh no, behind you. Keep 
the left arm up and over the head. The right hand might touch the left hamstring. Find some more space on the left side body. Engage your glutes, especially the left side. Now reach your left arm forward again. Imagine someone pulling you forward, the left leg floats up. Pull the wall, half moon. The right arm is reaching up, the left arm is on the ground, the left hand on the ground. The left leg is lifted, rotate your chest to the right side. Oh my lord, that's what we're doing twist today, he said. Oh, did he? Yeah. He's very hard, I've never been able to do all of this stuff. <laughs> On your next inhale, rise up to standing on the right leg. Gosh, okay. The left leg is not touching the ground. Keep the right leg straight, bend the left knee. Grab your left thigh, use your left arm back. If you feel open enough already, grab the left foot. Extend the leg forward. So the knees cross the left ankle over the right thigh. First standing pigeon. Hand to the heart. Send the hips back and down. Keep the spine nice and long. No higher above the knee. Hook down to your left foot. Make sure the left toes are pointing towards the left knee so that you protect your left knee joint. Hand to the heart. If you want to take a twist variation, you can bring the left fingertips on the ground. Keep the right arm up. Or bring your left elbow inside your left foot and then connect your palm. My ankles are sore from rackets. Also, great entry for a grasshopper. I don't even have enough space to do that here right now. Oh, grasshopper's like the next level. level. <laughs> so, when you come back up, standing pigeon, step the left foot back. Bring the hands down to the ground, set the right foot back, plant toes. Shift the hips forward, uh, the, the upper body forward, come high to your toes. Bend your arms, cut around, hold it there. The elbows are over the wrist. Don't bend your arms more than 90 degrees. You're still kind of pushing the ground away, core is still engaged. Blue time it as well. Soften the back down. Press up the plank. Shift forward, chaturanga. Up the plank. Two more. Call it yogi push up. Plank, chaturanga. And back to downward facing dog. That doesn't hurt your, your shoulder a little bit? He's very humble. Take a deep breath into the nose. Open mouth, let it all go. Open mouth, let it go. Open mouth, let it go. Feel your lips again, find that breath through the nose. Nice and controlled. On your inhale, lift your left leg up and back. Feel like a dog. And bend your left knee, stack your head. Point the left toe, the left foot. To your right toes. Exhale, left knee to the right tricep. Hold it there, lift the left knee up even higher. And bring it up and back. Three legs like drop, open stack. Exhale, left knee, right tricep. The inhale, three legs like drop. Exhale, left knee to the nose. Flex your left foot. Silently step the left foot between the hands. Straighten both legs for pyramid. In the torsion of stand, step the right foot forward. Inhale, lengthen out the spine. Exhale, fold forward and down. This one I feel the different, different parts of my leg. If I walk the hands to the right. 
Hold the left hip down. And to the left. Take the right fingertips inside the left foot. Reaching left arm up the wall triangle. Try to keep both legs straight, keep the spine nice and long. Pull the lower belly in. And rotate your chest more to, to the left. Up towards the feet. I see. There, I knew you could do it better than me. Keep your left arm forward. Take your left hand inside your left foot. Rebend the left knee. And reach your right arm up. So this one will protect. Both side arms. Pull the right shoulder, the right arm into the right shoulder socket. But keep the right arm straight and engaged. I'll reach your right fingertips to the front of the mat. If someone's pulling you forward. On your exhale, by the lunge to the right. Bend your right knee straight to the left. Lift your right heel up. Place the right hand down, the right arm inside the right leg. Keep the left arm up and over the head. Lower the right hip down so that the right hip is on the same height as the left. Keep the right foot flexed, the right heel is reaching back. And then wait until the handstand if you want to drop that down. Reach your right arm forward, but open first, the left arm is reaching back. Back is nice and soft. Pretty quite warm here for me. Early morning, but still super hot. Or already super hot. Reach the right arm forward. I should have to work at first, reach the right arm back. Left hand is reaching to the right hamstring. And then reach the right arm forward. Revolve half moon, the right leg floats up again. Right hand down, left arm is reaching up. Try to stand taller on the left leg to kind of press your left foot more it's into the right. hand. Yeah, no. Uh, your chest, rotate your chest. More to the left and up. I don't know. When you next inhale, release, come up to standing on the left leg. Standing on the left leg. Bend the right knee, grab the right side. And reach the right arm back. I see. We're doing the opposite of what we're doing. We're going to open enough already. Grab the right foot. And extend the right leg forward. Stand nice and tall. Go to the knees for standing pigeon. Cross the right ankle over the left thigh. Hands to the heart. Send the hips back and down. Spine is nice and long. Press your palms together. Look down to the ground. Make sure the right foot is flexed again so that the right toes are pointing to the right. Keep your hips stable, find the twist, right fingertips down, left arm is reaching up, or right elbow inside the left, the right foot. Connect your palm. Pull the lower belly in, 
so that again has a length on your exhale, maybe twist a little bit more. Just find that sensation, that end range, that feels good for you. So when you reach and you're picking all together, release the right foot, send the right foot back, transport. Present your palm past the tailbone, to get your core. Maybe close your eyes here for a couple of breaths. Make it more of a breath. Find that state of meditation. Ease and peace. Mind is the core. This is what I mean with using the breath as a giant. Just forward, Chaturanga, bend your arm. Now tap the right hand to the right elbow. Step it back, left to the left elbow. Step it back, one more you can. Are you for real? When did you say that? Chaturanga, crack up the plank. Down with that. He's stupid, he really pushes you. It takes me a while to catch up with him. Then I'll meet in Yogi's Quad, Malakana. So the feet are outside the hand. You can step or float or hand stand here or there. Take a deep breath in, just to lift up. And then step, float, hand stand to Malakana. You see how slow he puts his... I'll show you on the video. Open well, your... He like the touches his feet, puts his hand very slowly. <laughs> On your left lower back, and try to bring oh, this is a nice the left one. elbow inside the left leg. Right. <laughs> Once you have that, start to move your left yeah, leg elbow, towards the center, left. towards the right, okay, and rotate your body to the left. left. This dancing can be pretty deep, pretty fast. Okay. Sort of relief. Other side. I love these things about the body. When they showed me this, I was like, wow, that's a really great. Stuff I like to Oh, it's good to sit in the squat. Good hang out here all day. But it wasn't always like that. It was very challenging in the beginning. Especially for the ankle, so I think. Yeah, I want to get up this squat, or at least work for it, squatting more. The next time you're on your phone or doing whatever, yeah, you're doing the squat. Some of this, yeah. Take your hips down. Couple of toes, lift the feet up, and jump forward. So this is fine, nice and long. If at any point this is too much, you can set the heels back down, just so like this. You can keep your toes pointed, you can flex up. You also want to end Our hand, extend the legs, and take this full variation. Let's go to the full two. So whatever you want with your feet, you can either point them you or flex. You should, you should show this thing where you can go like that. It's so much harder. And lower down to half foot. Here just stay lifted. The upper back, the shoulder blades are lifted. Keep your arms forward. Then lean to your right side. And start to come up for a half forward. And while you're leaning, or for a boat, while you're leaning to the right. Kind of like this. Lower down. Over to your left. 
come up to both. It's going to take a lot of balance to be stay on the left side. Yeah, yeah. Lower yeah, down, back to the center, to the right. Two more each side. jump up and over your head. Hold it there for three or five steps. This is a good feel though. Back right. You jump forward, come up to both toes, set the feet down, bring your hands behind you, the finger tips are pointing towards you. Lift your hips up over the tabletop to counter. Engage your glutes, lift the hips up as high as you can. For some of us, it's good if you have the head and backwards, not really for me. But maybe for you, so take the option that works for you. Now keep the hands like that, don't move the hands. Move the hips forward and then set the hips down. And you inhale, move your chest forward and up. I have to help bend your arms. Yeah, you can bend your elbows too. Yeah, Keep right. your elbows close together. Yeah. That's exactly what you need after all those planks and fishing. Yeah. Slowly release. Reach arms forward, come onto your back. Have both knees into your chest. Put a deep breath into the nose. Open mouth, exhale, let it all go. Shavasana, extend the heel to the corners of the mat. And the arms, alongside your body, you are outside, uh, extend them out, palm facing upwards. Close your eyes, relax your body. Let your breath come back to its natural rhythm. Maybe you'll notice some differences in your breath. How your body feels. You don't want to label them or touch anything. Just notice and know it's part of the practice. And then here for a couple of minutes, and then we continue with the speed of meditation. I will end the video here. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. And I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.